here, say hi. Hi. How are you? Can you go give Felix a hug? Mm. He's right there. Go give him a hug. He Felix has, is like, no. He has it off. Is he running away? Yeah. Is he running away? Yeah. Good morning, you guys. I meant to vlog yesterday because it was an important day. And honestly, it was just, it, it's been a crazy couple days. Like, Anthony and I were saying this the other night. Like, it just feels like it's just like, go, go, go. And we haven't stopped. Tuesday, we went to the house, the old house, for what we thought was the last time. We cleared out. There were some, still some things in the garage that some of my siblings wanted. And we wanted to patch up some holes. We ended up clearing out the garage, but the holes took forever to patch. So we're actually going back today, the actual last day that we can go to the house to finish up. We're going to sand and paint. That will be done. The kids were fine that whole day. That night, Grayson went to bed. He was tired early, which was weird because usually like we'll put Gray to bed at like 738 and then he'll sometimes like stay up in his room and just like read books and do puzzles and then just like fall asleep on his own. Well, that night he like fell asleep in the car on the way home, which was very weird. But I was like, oh, he's just tired. It's been a long day. Well, later that night, he woke up at like 1030 p.m. He had been waking up on and off since he had gone to bed, like whining a little bit, but then he'd go back to sleep. So I never went in his room. Well, then at 1030, he woke up and he was like, it sounded like he was gasping for air. So I like ran upstairs. He was like having like, I don't even know, like a panic attack, not really, but like he was freaking out. He couldn't get a deep breath. He was freaking me out. We didn't know what was wrong. We thought maybe he had swallowed something. We did not think he was like sick. Like he didn't act sick that whole day, but he like could not breathe. It was freaking me out. I'm not usually one to be like, let's just go to the hospital. But that night I was like, we need to just take him. Like he was freaking me out. I didn't know what was going on. We never had something like this before. I volunteered to go, but Anthony was like, no, you're pregnant. Don't go to the hospital. So he took Gray. They were there till a little bit after midnight. They were seen really fast, which was really nice. Everything is fine. Grayson just has croup, which is just like a really bad cold in kids. So they said it gets bad at night. That made sense. And they said it just like restricts the airways. Um, they said it's just basically a cold. You just basically have to like wait it out. They did give him some steroids to help with like his throat not closing. So I felt good about that. And they prescribed him Motrin, which we have like Tylenol here. So we didn't even like fill that prescription. Um, but they were like, he'll be fine. Just he needs lots of fluids, lots of rest. So yeah, just freaked us out. Um, so he, they got back a little after midnight. Grayson was exhausted. Um, and he actually ended up sleeping in that morning until like the next morning till like 8.30, almost 9 o'clock. So we kept him home from preschool and that whole day yesterday, he just did not act like himself. He just wanted to lay on his bed, lay on the couch. He actually took two really short naps, which is so unlike him. Um, he wouldn't eat. He just had a really bad sore throat. I think this was like his first like sore throat that he's ever had. And I absolutely hate sore throats. I would take any ailment other than sore throats because there's like nothing you can do for it. You just have to sit and be miserable. So I hate sore throats. So I felt so bad for him. Meanwhile, we're like disinfecting everything, using Purell all the time. I'm terrified that Porter is going to get it. They said it's just like a cold, so anybody can get it. So he must have just picked it up from preschool, of course, school germs. I was actually thinking to myself, you know, wow, we've like, this is like the third week of preschool, I think. Like we've almost made a whole month without getting sick and then this happened. So everything's okay. He's fine. He woke up this morning and he was like, I feel great. So he just had that 24 hours of just feeling crummy. Kids are so awesome. They heal so fast. I wish I got over colds as fast as he did. Yeah, so he felt better. He he does have a bad cough, but he has no fever. 
um, and his energy level is back to normal. But yesterday, the, the reason I wanted to vlog is because we went and signed papers to close on our old house today. So super exciting. Um, it's almost done. And I just, I, it, I can't even like fathom that this is this whole nightmare is gonna be over. We had to go and sign papers. It took like no time at all. We're used to, we've done two closings now where we are the buyers. This was the first one we were the sellers and it went so much faster because you didn't have to sign all the bank stuff. We just had to sign documents like, yes, we're transferring the title over to you and we haven't taken out a loan on the house or like anything like that. So. We went and signed a couple papers, and then that was it. We took a picture, um, our realtor did, of us with the sign. So um, I'll include that here. And yeah, that's it. So um, the buyer is signing tomorrow for the house, tomorrow at like 4. So once he signs, it is officially his. I guess they're going to do a final walkthrough tomorrow morning. So tonight, Anthony's at work right now. He actually went in the office, which is unusual. Um, he's going to get back from work, and we're going to go to the old house one last time and just finish up everything that needs to be done, and then we'll leave all of our keys there. We'll leave our garage door openers there, and we'll just walk out for the very last time. So I don't know if I'll be sad. I don't think I'm too sad about it. Like, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I'm fine with it. Like, it is what it is, and I just want to be done with it. So, we are so excited. We get, they said we'll get the proceeds from the sale probably Monday in our bank account. So, we're very excited about that. Who doesn't love more money? So, that'll be good. Yeah, so I'll probably record one more time. I'd love to get like one last family photo in front of our old house. I don't know if Anthony's gonna be like now um, or if he'll entertain me in that. So we'll see. Yeah, I'm so glad that this is almost over. I'm just so tired. I was just thinking about it like, like I've probably said this a million times, but we started this whole process like November of last year. And then it didn't really truly pick up until January of this year. So we've been going almost a whole year of this whole like, gotta find a house, using every weekend, sometimes during the week to go look at houses, bidding on houses, being disappointed because we got outbid, um, going, um, finally getting a house, having that crazy time where we had to close on the house in like 15 days, then having the craziness of working on our house to get it all fixed up since April, April till July. So that was like three months of just like no life um, after work and after the kids went to bed. And then um, having like two months of the house being on the market and being disappointed on that. And then finally somebody coming through and um, the house being contingent and now tomorrow it ends tomorrow we sell the house and we will be done and we won't ever have to think about selling or buying until we want to move out of this house and this time next time it should be a lot easier because hopefully the market won't be so crazy like it was this time and we're in a much nicer house so i think we'll be able to sell it a lot easier than the last house so it was a crazy ride, but I'm so happy that it is ending. It'll be sad, like I'm sad for the kids. Like my mom was talking to me about it. Like they won't remember that old house. Like Anthony and I won't remember it forever, but they, the kids won't. They recognize it now when we take them um, just because like they have memories there, but you know, months, a year will pass by and we'll show, I'll show old videos of the house. I'll show old pictures of the house and they, they won't recognize it. They'll be like, where is that? So kind of sad about that. Like we have lots of memories there. Um, and like this new baby that's coming, it, they will never experience our old house but just means we can make new memories in this new house and it's a much better life for us and for our kids. So I'm happy about it. I'm just rambling. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so um, Porter's playing with the coffee machine. I will record um, tonight when we go to the old house for the last time and, um, and then that'll be it for our memories there. So bittersweet, definitely bittersweet.
Grayson, who are you dressed up as? Tigger. <gasps> Tigger? And what do you have in your hand? Winnable costume. <gasps> it's almost October and the boys' Halloween costumes have come in. And as you can tell, they're going to be Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I originally thought I would put Grayson as Winnie the Pooh and Porter as Tigger. But my sister said, no, Porter's got the belly. <laughs> so he needs to be Pooh Bear. And Grayson's long and um, jumpy. So he needs to be Tigger. <laughs> so I changed it. And um, Gray, love. do you love your costume? Yes. Yes, and we're about to go. Porter just woke up from his nap, so we're about to go show him his costume, huh? Are you ready? Okay, let's go to Porter's room and show him his costume. We'll see what he thinks of it. Come on, let's go. We will get lots of use out of these costumes. We have a couple of trick-or-treats planned. We always go to trick-or-treat at the zoo um, every year. And then of course there's Halloween. And then Gray will dress up for preschool. They do like a little Halloween party. And then we have a mom's group and they're doing Halloween party. And I usually take them to the one in our local town. They do like a cute little trick or treat trail, but we're actually going to be out of town, just Anthony and I. So maybe I can convince my mom to take them while she's babysitting them. I don't know, because that's usually pretty fun, but it's kind of chaotic because it gets busy there. So we'll see. But let's show Porter and see what he thinks of his costume. Ready? Good morning. Porter, look what we got. Who is Grayson dressed up as? Is he Tigger? Oh my goodness. And look what he has. Look. And Pooh. Winnie the Pooh supporter. It's your Halloween costume. Yeah. What do you think about that? I can't. I win Pooh. Are you Winnie the Pooh for Halloween? Yes. And Grayson is Tigger. Show us your bouncing. Watch out for the puzzles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what does Tigger usually say? <laughs> and Porter's going to be Winnie the Pooh. That'll be fun. These will be nice because they're nice and soft and <laughs> thick because it's always freezing come Halloween night. And of course, all the trick or treat events are outside. So the kids will be nice and warm under their costumes. Porter's, I got in a 2T. Grayson's is actually a size four to six. Gray could actually wear his for a couple of years. Porter will grow his super fast because he is so tall. Man, is that Winnie the Pooh? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I struggled so hard on knowing what costumes get the kids because they still don't have opinions on their costumes. So I wanted to pick something like cute that they could coordinate. And this is the last Halloween that I'll only have two kids. Next year I'll have three kids. Maybe three boys, maybe two boys and a girl. I don't know yet. So I thought let's do Winnie the Pooh and Tigger as our last just two. I There were, really weren't any other good ideas. The other ideas I had was like a chef and a lobster, which that would have been okay. Um... And then there was like a policeman and a donut and a magician and a bunny and a scuba diver and a fish. But I couldn't find a scuba diver costume. So I just settled on this. The boys love Winnie the Pooh right now. Gray can like sing the whole Winnie the Pooh song himself. Porter loves listening to the Winnie the Pooh song. So it works perfectly. They were expensive costumes because they're like Disney. But it's fine. It's just... They'll love it. They'll play with it. They still dress up in their costumes from last Halloween. So it'll be a whole year long toy for them. So I'm glad we got it. And now we can trick or treat. Are you so excited? Do you want to get your costume on? Yes. Okay. All right. So we are here for the last time at our old house. The boys are playing out on the back porch. And I am working in here. These are the two holes. Anthony put the plaster over it. So I'm just working on um, sanding it down so that it's flat. And then we will paint it. We've already got the paint can right there. And then I brought our vacuum over so that I can vacuum up all the dust. I love 
Bye. You want, how do you ask nicely? Uh, you mean Z-Bar? Okay. So, yeah, this is it. This is the last time we'll be here. Our realtor has already come. She took the for sale sign, and she took, like, the foot booties that we had people wear when they were coming through the house. All the furniture is gone. We put a bunch of it out at the curb. This house is awesome because it's in kind of like a lesser wealthy neighborhood. So if we put stuff out at the curb, it's almost always gone by like the next day. So most of the furniture is gone. There's just our couch, which I thought that would be like the first thing to go. Um, it's like a futon. It folds down. It's old though. It's got like cat fur all over it. It's just old and gross. But I just posted it on our, our neighborhood's Facebook group. So I post it on there, so hopefully somebody comes and gets it. Um, at our new house, we've like put out a couch before, our old couch, and like nobody's come to get it. So we have to actually like <laughs> have it get ready for bulk pickup and stuff. So it's just a little bit of um, dynamics there. But um, yeah, this is kind of it. I don't know if I showed you guys like the main floor, but here it is. It's just empty. Kitchen is done we're leaving behind um the keys we have and our garage door openers and i'm also leaving some water filters that go to this brita filter right here because we don't need one at our new house because we have the water filter on the fridge so other than that it's all empty everything is gone we are leaving the um curtains but the couch is still there, so hopefully somebody comes and gets it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to do bulk pickup, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's it. It's all done. I guess we have those paper towels. I should probably take those. But other than that, it's pretty much empty. Basement is empty. Upstairs is empty. I gotta go through the closets and just make sure. I finally emptied the fridge last time, so. Hi. This is just the end, huh? Are you guys sad that we don't live here anymore? What house do you like better? This house or, or our new house? Our new house. Yeah, I like our new house better too. But this was good for memories, huh? We brought Grayson and Porter here when they were babies. Um, oh, Anthony and I lived here when it was just us two. We were newlyweds. We've had so many birthday parties here, baptism parties here, lots of pictures, lots of videos. I started my YouTube career here. Not that it's like that big of a career, but I started it here. Um, this house is like all we've known for like five years. So it's sad leaving it, but I think because like it's taken so long to get rid of it, I'm just kind of over it. I know Anthony doesn't really have an emotional connection to it either. I know Anthony doesn't really have an emotional connection. I mean, he does like, but he's not emotional like me. So he's just looking at it like we get money out of it. Like we can't pay two mortgages, which totally makes sense. But for me, it's just like the memories, like I'll just miss the memories we made in here. But it is such a change going from this house to the new house. Um, our new house is so much better, so much newer, cleaner, nicer. So. Um, I'll miss the memories, but I won't miss this house. And the location was really awesome. We were walkable to downtown, which we did all the time. And uh, we were five minutes from my parents' Yay! house. And there were so many shops and um, we were right behind the mire. And so, you know, you just can't beat that. Our new house is great. We're not by a mire, but we're by a Kroger. We're not by downtown, but we can drive there and there's free parking, so. It's just different. So this was a good first house. It was a huge first house. This is like 1,900 square feet, four bedrooms, like three baths, two and a half baths. So this was a good first house, but it's definitely a first house. It's not a forever house. Some, the people who we brought, bought this house from, they had lived here for like 20 some years. Like they had made this their forever house, but this was, we knew coming into this, this was not going to be our forever house. We saw ourselves living in here about five years, and that's that's basically what it's been. It's a little over five years, and we're out of here. So it's sad, but I'm sure the new people who come here and 
get to live here will make it their own and change it. I'm sure it'll look completely different. Um, I'll definitely want to follow this house and see like when they put it on the market, maybe they'll keep it forever. Maybe they'll, maybe it's a short term. So I don't really know. Yeah, this is a great house for us and really didn't give us too much trouble other than we had mice, <laughs> but what house doesn't and uh, bugs here and there. And then our air conditioning went out and we had to replace the air conditioning and the heat. But other than that, like we really didn't have problems with this house. So it was a good first house and we were lucky to have it. You guys say bye old house. Bye, old house. Say I'll miss you. Miss you. I'll miss you.